Have you ever woken up in cold sweat, heart pounding, convinced that the terror you just witnessed was real? It's a chilling thought, isn't it? That's the power of nightmares. They can turn the sanctuary of sleep into a haunted house of horrors, a psychological thrill ride that leaves us breathless and on edge. Nightmares are a common part of the human experience. We've all had them, those vivid, disturbing dreams that jerk us from our sleep, leaving us disoriented and filled with a sense of dread. They're as universal as they are mysterious, a shared experience that links us all, regardless of culture or background. So what's the story behind these nocturnal terrors? Well, the scientific community believes nightmares are a byproduct of our brain processing our fears and anxieties. They're a sort of mental dress rehearsal, our subconscious mind's way of preparing us to face challenging situations. It's like your brain is a director, using the theater of your mind to stage a dramatic play, featuring your deepest fears as the starring cast. But sometimes, these nightmares can feel so real, so vivid, that they blur the lines between reality and illusion. You wake up, but the fear lingers, the images seared into your memory. The dream world invades the waking world, casting a shadow that's hard to shake off. It's this unnerving realism that has led some to question the nature of nightmares. Are they really just our subconscious mind's way of dealing with stress, or could they be glimpses into a realm beyond our understanding? A realm of shadows and whispers where the rules of reality don't apply, and things that go bump in the night take center stage. But what if these nightmares weren't just figments of our imagination, but something far more sinister? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the realm of haunting shadows and terrifying nightmares unleashed. Prepare to question everything you thought you knew about the world of dreams. Buckle up, because this is going to be a chilling ride. Imagine one night, you wake up in the middle of your sleep, and you see a dark shadow in the corner of your room. Now there's something about shadows, isn't there? They're silent, formless, and they have this eerie way of distorting the familiar into the unrecognizable. That's exactly what happened to our protagonist. Let's call them Alex. For Alex, this shadow was not just a trick of the light, but something far more sinister. It started off as a figment of their nightmares, a dark silhouette that lurked in the corners of their dreams, watching, waiting, but then it began to seep into their waking life. At first, it was just a fleeting glimpse here and there. A dark figure in the corner of the eye that disappeared as soon as they turned to look. But gradually, it became more persistent, more tangible. The shadow seemed to grow, stretching out, reaching for Alex. It was no longer confined to the corners of their room. It was in the kitchen, in the living room, in the bathroom mirror. It was always there, just out of sight, looming. The fear and paranoia started to take a toll on Alex. They started to question their sanity. Was it real or was it all in their head? Friends and family tried to convince Alex that it was just their imagination, a result of stress or lack of sleep. But Alex knew better. They could feel it. The cold, chilling presence of the shadow. As days turned into weeks, the shadow became more than just a silent observer. It began to move, to shift. It was as if it was alive as if it was watching. It filled Alex with a primal fear, a fear that made their heart pound and their breath hitch. And then one day, they realized something truly terrifying. The shadow wasn't confined to their home. It wasn't just sitting in the corner of their room. It was following them, everywhere. But the worst part, the shadow wasn't just in their room, but it had started to follow them. Now consider a scenario where the eerie silence of the night is broken by faint, indecipherable whispers. Imagine, if you will, a peaceful slumber disrupted by hushed tones that seem to float on the edge of consciousness. At first, these whispers are just a nuisance, nothing more than fragments of dreams slipping away. But then, they begin to grow louder, more persistent, transforming from a mere disturbance into an unrelenting symphony of haunting voices. Imagine being this person, waking up in the dead of night to the sound of these whispers. The world is still, the moon is high in the sky, and yet, there's a constant murmur, like a crowd in the distance. You try to ignore it, to go back to sleep, but the whispers persist. They grow louder and more frequent, echoing in your mind, seeping into your thoughts until they pervade every waking moment. You try to decipher the words to make sense of the nonsensical, but the whispers elude understanding, their meaning just out of reach. You spend your days and nights consumed by this relentless pursuit, 
desperate to silence the whispers that have become the soundtrack of your existence. But the whispers don't stop. They grow louder, more insistent, a cacophony of voices that leaves you feeling isolated and terrified. You seek help, but no one else can hear them. You're alone with the whispers, trapped in a world that's become a living nightmare. And then a thought strikes you. What if these whispers aren't just random words? What if they're trying to tell you something? You listen closely, straining to make out the words, and slowly, a pattern begins to emerge. The whispers aren't just noise, they're a message. But from whom? And why? As you grapple with these questions, you realize the whispers aren't just haunting you. They're challenging you. They're forcing you to question your reality, to confront your deepest fears. And as you delve deeper into the mystery, you can't help but wonder, are the whispers a curse or are they a gift? But what if the whispers aren't just random words, but a message from beyond our world? What if you constantly felt like you were being watched, but every time you turned around, there was nothing there? A question that chills the spine and sends goosebumps racing across your skin. Imagine existing in a world where you're never truly alone, where an unseen presence lurks in the shadows, always watching, always waiting. This is the terrifying tale of a person, let's call them Alex, trapped in such a reality. A reality where the unseen is far more terrifying than the seen. Alex's days are filled with the constant sensation of being watched, a sensation that grows stronger with each passing day, despite there being no one around. Every creak of the floorboards, every rustle of the leaves outside, every sudden gust of wind sends Alex's heart racing. The paranoia is a constant companion now, a silent, tormenting whisper in the back of their mind. The fear is so palpable it's almost a physical entity, a shroud that wraps around Alex, squeezing tighter and tighter. Alex searches high and low, hoping to find some logical explanation for this unseen presence. They check the locks on the doors, the windows, even the attic, but everything is as it should be. Yet the feeling persists, a relentless unseen predator lurking in the shadows. The fear is no longer just a feeling, it's a living, breathing entity, one that feeds off Alex's fear and paranoia. It grows stronger with each passing day, wrapping its cold, invisible hands around Alex's sanity, pulling it deeper and deeper into the abyss of fear. The once familiar surroundings of Alex's home now seem eerie and threatening. Every room, every corner hides a new terror, a new unseen horror. Alex is trapped in a nightmare, a nightmare that doesn't end with the break of dawn but continues relentlessly into the day. But what if this unseen presence isn't just a feeling, but a reality too terrifying to comprehend? A question that leaves us shivering, a question that serves as a chilling reminder that sometimes the most terrifying monsters are the ones we can't see. What if the line between your nightmares and reality completely disappeared and you were trapped in your worst fears forever? Imagine this, a world where shadows dance with a sinister grace and the whispers of the wind echo the chilling tales of horror. This is no ordinary nightmare. This is the story of a person who found themselves ensnared within the terrifying tendrils of their own subconscious, their nightmares bleeding into reality, rendering them unable to discern between the two. In the beginning, it was like any other nightmare, a sense of dread, an eerie ambiance, and the constant feeling of being watched. Yet as the days turned into weeks, the nightmare refused to end. The person woke up each day only to find themselves still trapped in the same haunting dream, their reality morphing into a realm of endless terror. Every creak of the floor, every flicker of the light, every whisper of the wind seemed to be a part of this terrifying ordeal. The dread was palpable, their heart pounding in their chest like a war drum, the fear escalating with each passing day. It was as if their worst fears had come alive, wrapping around them like a shroud, their desperate cries for help echoing in the void. They struggled, fought, and ran. But the nightmare was relentless. It was everywhere, in every shadow, every reflection, every corner of their mind. It was like being chased by a beast in the dark, knowing that no matter how fast you run, it's always just a step behind, its breath hot on your neck, its claws ready to snatch you back into the abyss. The person's desperation grew with each passing moment, their sanity fraying at the edges, their world crumbling around them. They were trapped in a never-ending cycle of fear and despair, their pleas for escape falling on deaf ears. But what if you were the next one to get trapped in this unending nightmare?